<laughs> well, welcome back to Morning Break. Yeah, you know, we are so fortunate in Savannah to be able to sightsee in our own city and be able to walk around downtown and see so many beautiful historic homes. Yes. From the outside, the different colors <laughs> and the architecture and the beams and just, oh, it's like you're walking a Nicholas Sparks movie everywhere you go. <laughs> I love That's it. That's good to put it. Yeah, we don't always get to go inside those houses That's though, true. but with one of Savannah's most famous homes recently renovated and on the market, Stacy Donegan of Seaboat Real Estate offered to show us around the Conrad Aiken house so we could see what it looked like where the Savannah native and Pulitzer Prize winner lived as a child and just what a $4.9 million property looks like from the inside. Mm. <laughs> Tim, I cannot tell you how excited I am to have the opportunity to tour you around the Conrad Aiken house today. Um, this was built in 1855, and it has just gone uh, under a complete restoration by the current homeowners, and there are so many things to show you today. The one thing I want to point out as we walk into this home is what is so special is you actually have a foyer. Most of these row homes in Savannah, you walk in, you've got a three-foot hallway and a staircase that goes straight to the, the second floor. This is special that you've got an, an ultra-wide townhome of 30 feet, which gives you this foyer space, which when you walk in, you have all this natural light and a big room of which you can see the rest of the house as you walk in. And then when you walk back here, you've got lots of versatile with the way the house um, was renovated. As you can see, the, the large um, 2,000 square foot addition, three-story addition that the sellers added during their renovation, which includes a kitchen and sitting room here on this floor, um, which all connects to each other. So you've got parlors and living spaces, what could be home offices and living rooms and mm -hmm. formal dining rooms. What I love about this house as well is you are on Oglethorpe Avenue, which is a tree-lined street. Look at all the history that has happened here in Savannah. But you've got all this great natural light and beautiful views and who, you can't beat a beautiful oak tree. So this is really one of the centerpieces of the home. Oh, staircase. one of my favorite parts about this house. Um, it's a nice curved staircase that's original to the home. Mostly you get a straight shot up to the second floor and here you've got a light filled staircase with the skylight and then you've got a beautiful landing. And then on this floor we've got some really great living spaces that offer so much flexibility for a homeowner. And one of my favorites obviously is this room. This could be a bedroom, a dressing room, an office, a living room, but look at this window. And having southern exposure, you have light all day long overlooking Oglethorpe, these Spanish moss draped oaks and the cemetery. I mean, there's not a better view in Savannah's historic district. All right, as I mentioned to you, the current owners did a 2003 story um, addition to the property and where we are right now is the primary bedroom suite. Um, you've got, again, floor to ceiling windows that overlook their courtyard. You've got um, your own ensuite bathroom, an enormous walk-in closet. You also, also have the um, elevator that they added that uh, serves all three floors of the home. We've hit the top two floors and now we're on the garden level here at 20, 228 East Oglethorpe. And there are a couple really great things about this garden level. First of all, it's the hitching post here. So this was uh, an original hitching post that was uh, actually on the street where they would hitch the horses up to and they brought it inside and made it the newel post to the stairway to the parlor level, which is really, really special. And it's actually special that the hitching post was still there and there are handfuls still um, floating around Savannah on our sidewalks. What I also love about this house is that you've got the original cooking fireplace here on the, on the garden level and you always know the cooking fireplace because it's the largest fireplace in all of these homes. Um, so as you can see you've got a big opening here but what I love too is that you've got the arm that the, the pot used to hang on and there aren't very many of those left, and I just think it's such an original um, feature to, to the history of this home. Well, I am so glad I was able to tour you around today at 228 East Oglethorpe. Um, most people know it as the Conrad Aiken House, and we've got a historic marker out front. It's a great home, has lots of history, and has some great architectural features, and this renovation is by far one of the best I've seen. 
Well, although I was tempted, I did not make an offer. Oh, darn. <laughs> <laughs> but what, what, a, what a beautiful home. I mean, yeah. it's, you know, a lot of the original detail has been restored and is still there. But then that addition just kind of updates everything. Mm -hmm. And it's just a nice blend. Yeah, I really love the windows. Yeah. I will do anything for floor to, floor to ceiling windows. Yes. They just like, there's just something about it. And then the, um, the view that she was showing us just looks magical. It almost looked fake in some right. of the shots that you guys had. Yeah, right, looking right out of Oglethorpe Avenue there, yeah. Colonial Cemetery right behind. I mean, it, she's right, it is one of the best, most striking views in downtown Savannah. And it's, you know, it's interesting, that house was built, the, the ground floor mm -hmm. is, is like a garden level. Mm -hmm. The main entrance is, is elevated one, because when that house was built, it was dirt roads in Savannah. Mm. And so you let you elevated the, the main entrance so that dust and dirt wasn't coming right. in. Smart. Yeah. Smart, smart, smart. That, magnificent home. I wonder who's gonna, you know, put in that money, that four point nine. And I tell you what, that price tag is no longer unusual in downtown Savannah. You That's crazy. go on, you know, real estate sites. There are wow. many, many multi-million dollar homes in our town now. Well, I will <laughs> not be moving to downtown <laughs> Savannah anytime soon. <laughs> They're just not on our shopping list. No, that's all. no, yeah. but that's okay. It's somebody else's and I'm going to be friends you know, with that person. You know, you look at them though. Exactly. <laughs> well, just ahead is...